Hello everybody. Uh, the objective of this session is to see how to create a new storage type within a warehouse. Now uh, we already have a warehouse. So uh, in this scenario I have a warehouse 0089 and my objective is to create a new storage type 201 within this warehouse. So let's go to SPRO. So I'm going into the transaction code SPRO. Basically this is the uh, SAP reference IMG and I would be going into the logistics execution now here warehouse management and within the warehouse management we would be going into the master data now within the master data you can see in this there are so many master data now we will be choosing the defined storage type Now I would like to make this 201 storage type a copy of a high rack. Uh, so I already have a high rack storage type within the warehouse 0089. So I would be making just a copy of it. 008, my warehouse number is 089. And my storage type is double zero one. Here you can see. This is a high rack with inventory and uh, I have one more high rack uh, which is the um, 101 which is SU managed. So I would like to create one more 201 which uh, would be a copy of this. So now the thing is that in general whenever we are creating a storage type we should not go and click on the new entries and just add an entry. We should always copy it with reference to the uh, reference template storage types or maybe the central warehouse storage type. Usually 001 is the one which is already given so you can always uh, take that as a reference baseline and you can copy from there. But I have already copied so I am copying it from my existing storage type. This is the copy as button so I am just copying it. So you can see here now it has uh, taken me to a new screen. Now this is called storage type controls. Now I would like to have this storage type 001. My new storage type was 201 which I wanted to have and I do not want to have it SU management active. So you can see here I am not going to have SUT check active as well and so section check active. Uh, rest of the things is like the next empty bin, the destination bin change during confirmation and uh, you can see stock removal strategy F. So I am going to save this. So now you can see here 089201 new entries there. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to save this now. And it is it is asking me for a transport request. So I would say okay. I'm this is a demo. Now here you can see it is created. Now let's go back. Now open the LT01 I just want to see that if in case a storage type for 008089 warehouse it has picked up or not 0089 then moment type we'd say 501 sorry the moment type we say triple nine material less compa quantity say hundred then I would like to see that if 201 is already existing or not existing now Yep, high rack with inventory. Here you can see high rack with inventory, and here you can see high rack with inventory. I pointedly did not change the description so that we can cross verify. So it is existing here. Now, the second way to cross check is at the table level, but that uh, you can see in the upcoming videos of mine that how we can look at the storage type, the storage type controls, and everything at the table level itself. Thank you for watching this video.